It's back. It's the return of the Kodok box of junk. Supplies are limited. Details on how to get one for yourself in the description below. Hey everybody, this is Kodak here doing an admittedly impromptu visit to New York Comic Con. I've invited by uh, Guess Who. We're going to take a look at them. They've got the uh, the newest set, Nightfall, out. They're doing some booster packs and promos, some cool stuff. Let's have a look. Here it is, the uh, the uh, headliner here, an entire box of MetaZoo Nightfall. Ooh, is that, is that like an embossed label on there? Um, anyway, this is the latest set that has come out for MetaZoo. It is part of the Cryptid Nation block. There's actually going to be blocks in this game, and that includes uh, Nightfall here. They're going to follow this up with Yokai Island, so each block is going to have um, new characters from different regions. Cryptid Nation is mostly dedicated to... Uh, Cryptids from the United States, but we're going to be going all around the world at some point. So, anyway, this is uh, this set, Nightfall, is a set that uh, specifically was released for October. Because, you know, when you make a game about spooky monsters, of course you have to have a set that comes out in October. And that's just, that's just such a slick thing. I love the idea of, you know, these kinds of themed sets. And not like, you know, Secret Lair, like mini sets or something. Although they do also have a Halloween mini set, but like... An entire like expansion. Although I guess Magic just did uh, just released a another Innistrad set, didn't they? Was, was that September? Was that early in September or was that an October one? Either way, I think the goal was to have it be another October set. So maybe it happens from time to time. But uh, I, I think MetaZoo had uh, plans to do Nightfall long before Innistrad was announced. Um, uh, that is because they actually had to delay another expansion after all of the, what happened with the first run, but they wanted to make sure that they got this one out in October, and they certainly did that. So this is a look at our booster box here. It might be a little hard to tell through the uh, stretch foil, but there's actually like holographic star effects on here, little little foil foil glow effects, kind of like the old Pokemon cards. Might be a bit hard to see under my light, but don't worry, I got a pretty good shot at the actual uh, convention of all the of all the stuff, and it'll probably light up more once I get this like shiny plastic off of here. Um, although speaking of this shiny plastic, it again has the uh, the MetaZoo name on here. However, it also has what looks like a little ghost shape. However, I believe it's a slightly confused version of the Nightfall symbol, which is a bat with a full moon behind it, also invoked by this image of Mothman. On the boxes, we have pictures of the different booster packs. We have Wendigo here. Um, I'm not familiar with all these cryptids. I actually kind of kept myself in the dark as to what is uh, going into this set here. Uh, they put text on here, but they also put this gigantic stretch over the top. So uh, let's get this plastic off and uh, take a look at uh, what that text says. There we go, nice and easy. I'm sure all sorts of investors are screaming right now, no, what are you doing? Well, you know what? I don't care. Cards are meant to be played with. 
So let's take a look at that back text. Darkness falls, and the cover of night, the darker beasties find sanctuary and pray to hunt. And that is who Cryptid Nation Nightfall brings a whole new and terrifying mist of North American cryptids into the Marathazoo universe. Mothman returns, the Wendigo howls in the moonlight, and the Bell Witch cackles in the winter air. Contract these beasties at your own risk, for they could be your last. So we'll see, uh, I mean, I'm seeing some, like, some spooky images here. Uh, that would be neat if there was like you know like like a cost to recruit these uh, recruit these beasties if there's like some kind of penalty like they like it's power at a price like the the legit thing so like I said I've kept myself completely in the dark on this set apparently they've done a bunch of changes to how things are done on the pack I know they've changed uh, they've changed publishers at the very least so it's not gonna be like the the weird like cheap Chinese stuff we saw before so we got a little little nice black foil seal there. I don't know if that was intentional, but that was like an effect of the void there to turn that into a crescent there. So here we go. So here we have our packs. Not entirely sure who each of these are, but we should have four varieties of pack in, in, in nice, spooky, orange, purple, black, and green. Uh, is green a Halloween color? Well, I guess green is like the color of like the Wicked Witch and like slime and stuff. I mean, orange is, orange is obvious. That's the jack-o'-lantern. Then we have black for night and purple. Was purple always a Halloween color? I guess it's uh, supposed to be like the witch's dress or something. But yeah, nice nice and festive. I like it. This is a very, very appropriate set to put on on Halloween. You'll notice the booster packs are different. They have like uh, they have like the regular old like pull tabs that you're used to with like the, the sort of scrunched uh, stamping here. So these look pretty similar to the first one. This is, uh, this is a first edition box we're going to be going through here. Um... But it's uh, it's it's uh, it's not a Kickstarter special. The Kickstarter special was for Kickstarter, so they didn't kickstart this set. This set they were actually able to do thanks to um, all of the sales they got of the first run of the first set. Although Little Birdie told me that we are actually going to be seeing a an unlimited edition version of the base set. So if you missed out, there's hopefully still a chance. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll beat those scalpers yet, eh? So let's take a look at what is inside these packs. All right, so let's. Start with our first pack here. Like I said, I'm not sure who this is. It kind of looks like a genie on top of an ice cream cone. Or is this supposed to be our, uh, oh, I get it. That's the bell. It's the bell witch. Okay, so this is the, this is the one they were, they were talking about on the, on the cover there. So, let's have a look inside. I do like to try to make archival ones, so... I do like to, like, like, open, open the pack without, like, destroying it. Eh, well, failed that time. Maybe on the next one. So the packs are pretty similar. So we have Arkansas Snipe. I thought a snipe was a kind of bird. Um, so it looks like a gigantic mosquito. It's nature. You can see the green there. They've got a bit of a different, a different texture for the for the nature there. This page is a text deal plus 25 damage if there are any mosquitoes within eyesight. So the whole within eyesight rule, mosquitoes are kind of hard to spot, you know, although you are allowed to bring props. You're not allowed to use digital facsimiles, but you are allowed to bring props. So um, I actually uh, rolled up my, my giant salamander deck for, uh, for that quick run there and I actually had like a little, a little prop tree from my Crossmaster set and I had it tipped over to activate those effects. So one cost, 10 HP, only does 10 HP. Uh, this attack deals damage equal to the LP bonuses from Guzzle. So if destroy a, 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 a grass beastie, fearsome critter, if this page has no life point, uh, if this page has no life points, this page gains 20 and any LP bonuses that beastie had. So yeah, there's, a, there's already a card with a bit of a cost to it. So we have our copper top here with our new logo. We have a new background for, uh, for nature. We have that nice bold text there. So uh, we're off to a good start. Another one. Ah, this is, uh, was this, uh... Yeah, I think that's this one. This is the, the Luferlang. Ah, so this is something else they've done. They've actually added a strong, uh, a strong against thing. So each of these uh, attributes has types that they deal additional damage to. One mistake here, they didn't list on the card how much that damage is. I believe it's 20 damage, but like I said, uh, I, I pointed this out. You, want, you really want to have everything on there. Uh, for a horse, its bite is worse than its kick. Well, that's because it's obviously a giant spider. This page cannot declare attacks and is inflicted with fear on contract if an opposing caster has a mirror in the arena. Okay, so it's another high-risk, high-reward one. 
Imprisonment, a dark spell. This is an artifact, but in this game, again, artifacts have life points, so you can send in one of your beasties to smash it up. Flipped, equip this page to an opposing... Oh, it's a trap, I guess. It's a trap and it has like a tool there. I'm not familiar with the tool that symbol. That's a new one. Um, equip this page to an opposing attacking beastie in end combat. And equip beastie is fatigued and cannot be awakened until this page leaves the arena. So this is... This is basically spell binding circle. Uh, it can be attacked, targeted, and, dis and destroyed by any caster. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, it's basically a spell binding circle. Although it only has ten life points, so it's not going to take long for for something to bust it out of there unless you block it. Ah, jack o' lantern, another one that is appropriately festive. Although I don't know if this counts as a cryptid. Although it says artifact pumpkin. Oh, an artifact. Okay, so this is uh, another artifact. You may. You may activate this power whenever a die is rolled or a coin flip resolves. Redo the die roll or coin flip. Oh, okay. So this is this is the uh, this is the uh, the, the Kan Shome effect. There's a um, I haven't talked about the Zatch Bell card game, but there's a Zat there's a, a character whose whole shtick is uh, coin flips. He can redo coin flips. He can set coin flips. He can uh, gain points whenever you do a coin flip. So a lot of a lot of weird luck and stuff there. All right, another artifact, another nature artifact. Oh, we're not in order, are we? Um, Bursting Spiderlings. Spiderlings. If any of you are familiar with Skylanders Giants, you are no doubt familiar with the term Spiderlings. Uh, so it's another, it's a, another artifact. Destroy and create 10 Awakened Spiderling tokens with 5 life and 5 damage. That has, uh, is that Poison 1? If this page is destroyed on an opposing caster's turn, create 5 Spiderling tokens instead. So you'd have to find a way to reckon on your turn. Cost 3, 50 life. That's... That might take a bit of work. Exquisite stew! <laughs> okay, I don't know how spooky this is supposed to be. Or I, actually, I see like tentacles and eyeballs in there, so maybe maybe there it is. Bookmark one and take 50 damage. Uh, so draw a card and take uh, lose uh, take 50 life points. Inflict yourself with... Is that... Yeah, that's burn five if you have more life points than any opposing caster. So I guess if you have more life points than your opponent's caster, then this porridge is too hot. All right, that's a that's a that's a yeah that's a, a potion. I assume that's a spell too. Destroy Terra. Destroy target Terra page in the arena. Destroy Terra. Place in the afterlife. Okay, this is going to be a staple. Cost zero. Gets rid of Terra. Eliminates Terra effects. So that's gonna this is gonna see some play. This is our I think our oh, it's our second silver card. Lightning Alley. You may fatigue this page at any time to generate one electric aura and one light aura. You may not control more than two artifact essence in the arena. Okay, so this is this is like the. Like, this is like multicolor versions of the stones, and it has a, and it has, I guess, a, a backup effect here. So this is, oh, it's a rare. So we got our, our regular hollow rare. Um, one thing that MetaZoo kind of messed up on in the original run is that not every pack contained a rare card. There was a parallel foil, which was basically the rare slot, but there were common and uncommon cards that could be the rare slot too. It was saved by the fact that the vast majority of the reverse foil cards were also regular ones here but uh, so this is this is similar to the gem it's a bit trickier to use so mm, a limit on artifact essences so maybe they are going to limit those stones after all but that means i get ta -da, two gold cards so you get the double rare you get the bonus rare all of these uh, the sets now have a second set of rare cards it only costs nine and only has one life point you may contract this page from your limbo cemetery or afterlife this page can only be contracted with dark aura pages and cannot have its aura cost reduced Oh, it has to be dark aura pages, so I can't, I can't get it with, uh, with, with gems, huh? The end. This attack effect ignores effect text boxes. Does this attack damage to caster? If the result is not a, a roll a die, if the result is not a one or a six, that caster loses the game. So apparently, there's no way to cheat this guy out. He can only be contracted with dark aura pages and cannot have its aura cost reduced. So yeah, this is uh, uh, this page cannot be affected by other pages. So it's immune to everything. So. Basically, if this thing comes into play, you have one turn to stop it. Um, stained glass token. Ah, okay, so we're having tokens as well. Um, I know, I don't know if they're going to do any special ones for Wapalusi. I hope we get some Wapalusi tokens, like Active Volcano and stuff like that. Um, if not, heck, I would have thrown in a blank one if it was up to me. All right, and Lightning Storm. Ooh, they got some, they've gotten some flashier artwork on there. I, I don't know if Lightning Storm was in the original set, but uh, they had Meteor Shower in the original one. But this, I assume, uh, activates more uh, more lightning beasties. And Earth Aura. Ooh, new artwork. Some little some little steps there. Some little mesas, plateaus, carved up petrified uh, wood. So, good to see more stuff. Uh, this is uh, Chris Kentman. Was he with, uh, one of the newer artists that they, they brought on to do this set? All right. 
Next pack. Hey, I know these packs take a long time. They get faster as I open more of them and we are able to see more cards because then I can start skipping past cards we've seen before. It gets a lot faster towards the end. Believe you me. All right. And if you don't like me, the, the fact that I that I talk about the cards and stuff, I don't talk about money cards. I talk about the cards cards. So, uh, oh, Black Eyed Children. Uh, this is one that I believe was uh, also in the, the original Halloween promo set. This page's attacks deal 10, plus 10 damage if you are seen with brown eyes. I'm not sure what that means. So uh, seen possessing brown eyes or looked at by somebody with brown eyes? Because my eyes are blue. So either way, this effect doesn't work for me. Um, so we have the, 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 the oh, that's, that's, that's the, the, the incorporeal. Okay. And nightmare. Ooh, oh, that's a spell. Even though the, the nightmare is actually a cryptid. Well, it's a, it's a legendary beast, not really a cryptid. This page Costs zero ore to contract if a caster had a nightmare in the past week. Um, well, here's the thing. That's, that, that gives older players an absolute advantage, because every night is a nightmare. Uh, inflict fear on target beastie. Destroy target beastie if it is inflicted with sleep. You may place this page on the bottom of your spell book. Oh, okay. So it has a recycle. Sam's Holy Water. So this is a Sam Sinclair card. Um, the original set was clearly about Sam Sinclair. This one is about his, uh, his nemesis, Indrid Cold. So we'll see if we get his card in here anyway. Another poncho one. Remove all effect indicators from target page or caster. This target recovers 30 LP. If you targeted a beastie with the vampire trait, that beastie is destroyed. So the chupacabra trait. All right. We've got jack-o'-lantern again. Index. Oh, this is a fun one. This is similar to, I assume it's like the magic one. This must be the only non-aura page you contract this turn. Oh, search your spell book for a beastie page. Reveal it and put it into your chapter. Shuffle your spell book. So this is... Uh, this is how you end your turn after you've done everything else. You play Index and pull whatever you want out of it. I mean, for for beasties, you could pull you could pull so many things with this. This is this is definitely gonna be a card that's easy to use. It ends your turn, kind of like Lion's Eye Diamond does. But like I said, if you make it the last thing you do on your turn, that makes sense. Sinister Shadows, ooh, nice and spooky. Hey Sam, I've turned into a demon. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> There must be a shadow in the arena to contract this page. So, uh, shadow, I think, is a token generated by an effect. Target a non-token beastie with an R cost of one. Breach beastie with the same name as the targeted beastie. Place a token in that that is a copy of the targeted beastie into the arena awakened. Tokens are not considered contracted and have five LP. Ah, I see. So this is, uh, this is, well, that's, that's, that sounds fun. Um, which is lightning. Target up to three beasties. Each beastie is dealt 20 damage. Uh, so for two costs, 20 damage ain't bad. Until the end of the turn, each beast is also considered electric and gains... Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what... I can't remember what the sword one is. Oh, we got a foil reaper. So yes, they can come in foil and non-foil. So I have two grim reapers now. Ain't that fun. And river of time for my other gold one. This page costs one, or, uh, one water aura if I believe that is uh, river is active. Take another turn after this one. Oh wow, uh, it's one per spell book, so it's 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 time walk, but it's limit one per spell book. So uh, it'll definitely give water some advantage, but the fact that you can only get one in the deck is uh, put this page into the afterlife, and it cannot be brought back. So yeah, dynamite token. That is one dynamite token, explosive, and we have dawn as a card. So this is a I suppose it's supposed to be the end of the nightmare. And a dark aura. Ooh, look at that. It's like a like a solar eclipse. That's neat. Who is this one? Oh, this is Poncho. All right. Nice. Let's do a Wendigo pack. Two Grim Reapers, huh? Although Grim Reaper is one of those cards that's like super impractical because you have to pay its cost with nothing but dark aura. I mean, in a pure dark deck, a pure darkness deck, that can be like a win condition card if you if you do some kind of ramping somehow. Air rods. They look kind of like, uh, I think I've seen like the videos of, uh, of these things. Although these kind of look like the Tynamo, those, those, those Pokemon that are like the flying eels. This page gains 20 life points if real clouds are within eyesight. So I guess this is an incident where a proxy cloud would not work. Sonic speed. Sonic speed! <laughs> Up next, Wonk. Is this supposed to be like Squonk? So this is Wonk, targeting an awakened, um, an awakened so that is stand that is untapped um, earth beastie without a power in the arena this page becomes a copy of that page awaken this page and destroy it at the end of this turn 
So uh, an ability you have to exhaust to use, but I guess the idea is it copies something and then it, you know, that seems interesting. This page becomes a copy of that page. Okay, so this is interesting for like effects that are that are simultaneous or have some kind of uh, some kind of additional use. Uh, for three, that's not bad. That can have some interesting effects. Oh, well, well, well. I guess this is appropriately spooky. Oh, so that's that's what the screw that's what the, the wrench is. It's an equip card. Equip this page to target beastie. Equip beastie's attacks deal plus thirty five damage. The equipped beastie and its controller both lose ten LP at the end of the, each turn. The plus thirty five seems like it would be uh seems like it would be worth it for that little cost there because your opponent's gonna want to get rid of that extra damage pretty fast. Trinity amulet casters cannot contract spells when it is not their turn. Uh, heal the wounded. Target BC artifact or caster recovers twenty LP. That's pretty good for for a copper. That 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 seems like it has some interesting potential. Boost aura. There's Sam. You may lose fifty LP to have this page enter the arena awakened. Fatigue this page to spend X. All non-token BC's attacks deal five times X damage only on the turn, where five is the amount of aura spent for this effect. That's neat. Cool. That seems useful. Hey, hey, Max, it's me again. Unlucky potion. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cat-shaped bottle with a black liquid in it. Uh, you may play this page at any time. Choose the next result of an opposing caster's die roll or coin flip. Ooh, that's interesting. That, that seems like it would be like essential defense against a darkness deck that makes a lot of use of fear. Fear is a pain. Um, ah, Fearfullet. Fearfullet. It's a little, it's a little emberling. I got a copper one this time. So yeah, you can get the reverse foil card. Like I said, they, they have a pretty funny idea of what makes a reverse foil card. It's just the character and nothing else. Even if you have sun, your turn place this beastie into, lim into your limbo and end combat. So this guy is, uh, this guy is like a swift scarecrow. Uh, not quite a battle fader thing. You have to have him in play, and he has to be untapped, so he has to survive the turn to actually be able to do that. And potion seller, I'm about to go into battle, and I need your strongest potions. Oh, this is an artifact. Okay. Opposing casters may use this page's power on their t on their turn. Once per turn, place a potion page from your cemetery into your chapter by paying one or one uh, colorless aura for each stock counter on this page. Awaken this page and place a stock counter on it. So it gets more and more expensive to use. However, if you use it every time on your turn, your opponent will get the chance to. Okay, a tentacle token. Oh dear, I know where this is going. And, whoa, full moon with the howl. Getting some really nice sharp colors on these on these terrain cards. These look way better than the, than the ones from the first set. And lightning aura. Pumpkin. Oh, this one was was uh, through the magic of engineering was already half open the magic of, of, of it's the power of TV magic okay so I have a pristine orange one now okay so we have beast of Bladenboro or is it Bladenboro whichever it is um, if the primary defender has an aura cost of one that page is destroyed so this uh, this would cause my giant salamander deck trouble because giant salamanders are very powerful for only one cost that's not bad at all and you can't destroy each other with it because it's a two cost. Okay, two cost. Crazy Crater of Bald Mountain. Bald Mountain. I thought Bald Mountain was where Chernabog hanged out, hung out, hangs out. Whichever it is, this page costs one alien aura to contract if neon or glowing lights are within eyesight. So, I assume that's that's meant to be like actual neon because technically every light is glowing. Even the lights I'm using here are glowing. The alien. Iliamna Lake Monster. I know I probably said that wrong. It's a it's a shorg. This page is a tech skill. Plus 20 damage if you are on or can see a real boat. So I see that distinction of real there. So that is uh that is certainly a difference there. Although the problem is it's kind of hard to control where a game takes place, whether or not there's a real boat. So I assume if it says real boat, I can't use a facsimile boat. Excavation. Reveal pages from the top of your spellbook until you reveal an Earth Aura page or a Terra page. Place that revealed page into the arena. Oh wow, so Earth is the one that's going to get a ramp card. Target opposing caster places every other revealed page on top of your spellbook in any order. <laughs> okay. You kind of want to know what your top card is when you try to ramp with this thing. Brain in a jar! Ah, good old brain in a jar. Wait, it's a brain in a jar being carried by a brain in a surgeon mask. Or uh, not a surgeon mask. He's he's showing proper social distancing. You may only contract this page when a beastie is flipped face up with the trap trait. 
Oh, it costs zero. Okay, so this is uh, the beastie loses all effect text boxes, terror bonuses, and becomes a one LP artifact with destroyed. Search your spellbook for a page with an aura cost equal to this page with an aura cost, and shuffle your spellbook. So this thing basically takes a trap creature like uh, like Baby Quetzal and uh, nullifies it, basically. It's Grimer, the purple blob of Philadelphia. Uh-oh, I better be careful then. This page gains plus one LP if you're eating gelatinous food. Uh, wait, is that plus one LP? I, th I assume that's supposed to be plus ten. It's plus ten at the end of each turn. This page, this page cannot have pages under it. So it has nothing in the way of stats, but I think it has... Whoa, that's a lot of abilities. So it has... Um, it loses 20 life points in snow. It gains 20 life points in a meteor shower. It has armor, which means it takes half damage when defending. And I think that's double regeneration. So, wow. Um, yeah, this thing this thing could be a serious beastie if, if, you, if you don't put it down. Uh, it says this page cannot have pages under it. I assume that's to prevent uh, that's to prevent the red from being put under there, the 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 the, the red power up. Ah, the Dover Demon. I think I'm familiar with this one too. Tell target caster you challenge them to a staring contest. After a countdown, you and target caster must maintain eye contact. The first caster to break eye contact is dealt 100 damage. Oh wow! So this is this is one that requires a fake out there. All right. Ah. Alaskan Vortex. Ah, so I got a, another gold one here. Destroy up to one beastie controlled by each opposing caster. Take up to two ice spells from your cemetery whose combined aura costs are three or less and place them into your chapter. So that brings back brings back the cards. Is that the Gigi bird in the center there, I think? So mm, this this could this could have a lot of uh, this could have some interesting combo potential. Bring back uh, bring back like some ice breath or ice storm. Prism beam. Ah, is this the uh, uh, for a second, I thought this was the cantrip. It kind of looks like Death Beam from here. I think this is like the reverse of, of Death Beam. Equip this page to an aura page in the arena. Equipped aura page is now a light aura page and generates an additional light aura upon generating aura. So this can be... The, the, I, I kind of like this card. It has some interesting potential. You can use it on your own aura to generate more light aura to give yourself that one turn ramp, which is nice. Or you could play it on an opponent's deck when you know they have nothing that needs neutral aura. So... Interesting potential there. Nameless token. So that's like a chupacabra token. It's it's. <laughs> uh, who is this person that is getting eaten? So I guess this is what I would use for my uh, for my Wapalusi token. And we got lightning storm and lightning aura. Bell witch. Have we really only done like four packs? Oh, I better I better I better pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. All right. This is another one that's like half open for me. So. There we go. I have my my preservation point pulse. All right. Well, actually, let's let's uh, let's let's reconnoiter a bit. I know people like it when uh, when we put like the hits aside. So like Alaskan Vortex seems like it's pretty good. We got the that one as a form there, and of course we got a Grim Reaper and a Lightning Alley. Got some pretty uh, some pretty cool ones there. Been pretty good so far on on getting the gold foils. I've gotten three three of the four packs I have I have opened up so far. I've had the gold foils, so we'll see what the odds are here. I know the odds in this in these boxes can be crazy. Like I pulled four chaos crystals, dark lightning orb. Kind of looks like a birthday cake. Oh, it's a dark lightning orb. Whenever a lightning beast is destroyed, place an orb counter on this page. Remove all orb counters on this page. Deal ten damage to target beast or caster for each. Orb counter removed this way. So this thing can pick up orb counters for a while. It is destructible, though. So odds are pretty good your opponent will... Uh, un unless you com combo it with, like, the bees that make, like, 10 bees and use it to deal, like, 100 damage, like, immediately, people are going to have a bit of... People aren't going to let that stand. Light Elemental. Okay, so this is similar to the fire, the fire sprite, I guess. This page costs one aura to contract if you only control light pages. Okay. So that eh, seems pretty simple, though. Gains 20 more in daylight. Shine bright. If this attack damage an opposing caster, stained glass tokens you control gain plus 10 LP and plus 10 damage. Oh, you create a... Oh, I see. So the stained glass are created by the light elementals. And I guess you would use that to... Use the shadow power to multiply that. Ah, might have some interesting potential. There's Fu You already saw that. Oh, the Kinderhook Blob. This page gains 10 LP if you are wearing any white clothing. Hasty Menace. X equals this page's current LP. So... It's a one cost, 35, that might be 45. 45, 45 is okay. It's not quite, uh, it's not quite uh, the, uh, the giant salamander, but if you put, 
if you put red power up on here, that's plus 100 LP and plus 100 damage for 245 damage. So this thing has some frightening hidden potential. I think that's kind of the thing with the, the aliens is a lot of them are glass cannons. Great blizzard. I help, I'm in a blizzard. Um, oh, is, is this kind of, is this supposed to be their version of Diabolic Vision? I'm sorry. I, I think this one loses. Diabolic Vision is my favorite magic card art of all time, so. All non-ice beasties are inflicted with freeze one. It is now considered snowing, and all ice beasties attacks deal plus 25 damage at the end of turn. Opposing casters cannot contract water spells. Okay. Uh, it freezes everything. That's, that's, that's crazy. Spooky kite. Um, I guess this is supposed to be, uh, some say this is a kite that was hit by lightning. So is this, is this old Ben Franklin's kite? Spooky kite. You may contract this page at any time. Ah, a character that can, that can be brought in in a flash. And, uh, I believe the wings mean it has flying. You may inflict. So this is, oh, it's a flash of lightning. So it has flash. Okay, um, you may inflict paralysis on an opposing beastie and arena, and the, any damage or effects from lightning pages is instead dealt to this page. The remaining damage cannot be located to its original target. So it flashes in, it paralyzes something, and it takes some hits. So that, that's that's pretty good. Veggie man, this page, this page's attacks deal plus twenty five damage if you are a vegetarian and twenty five damage if you're a vegan. How do you prove that? And do those stack? Because technically a vegan is a vegetarian that also does not consume uh, egg or dairy products. <laughs> this one's gonna be, this one's gonna be a tricky one. Light elemental. Lightning split. Choose two target creatures, deal 90 damage to one, and inflict paralysis to the others. For four, that's, that's decent, I guess. Nameless token. Forest. Oh, did I not get a did I not get a did I not get a foil card in that pack or did I did I miss it? Oh, light elemental was my foil card, but the amount of actual foiling on here was so minimal I missed it. Okay, but I'm glad you now get a rare card in every pack anyhow. All right, cool. On to another pumpkin, and I have I have a pumpkin for archive, so I can just bust this one open. Although this one opened pretty nicely too. Okay. Destroy Aura. You and target caster choose one Aura page you each control. Place both Aura pages in your respective afterlives. Each caster must choose a special Aura page if able. Ah, so you have to you have to exchange Aura there. Napa Rebobs, a very red monkey. It is in, it it's it's showing its butt, but it is its entire color is monkey butt. Although it seems to go for Bananas. Double this page's attack damage against casters if there are Bananas nearby. And it doesn't say it has to be a real banana, so you could bring a facsimile banana. Familiar. It's got it's a little cat. It's an eyeball cat. It's, it's, it's Meowclops that's seen better days. <laughs> Place a beastie from your limbo into your afterlife. Ah, and that's for ghosts. I believe that's the ghost train that makes use of afterlife. That's neat. Trinity Amulet. Spiderlings, spooky kite, Kalupalik, Kalupalik, I assume. So this is another ice one. If target caster is below the age of fifteen, or there is ice within eyesight, inflict target opposing BC with frost two on the when when uh, dealt. Again, not necessarily something you can prove. Somebody can lie about their age. Um, and most 15 year olds don't have an ID. Ah, I got a foil lightning split, which means I get a bonus card. Ah, there's the Bell Witch. Arena, after awakening your pages at the beginning of your turn, if there is a uh, roll a die, if the result is not a one or six, this page must declare an attack immediately. The haunt begins. Once per turn, contract any ghost spell in your cemetery, place that spell into your afterlife. Ah, so. So this is something that you'd want to control a dice flip or a, a dice roll on that's something you use the the bad uh, the bad uh, witch for although witch here has haste and magic shield so that's not bad the haste means that it enters the play enters play uh enters play ready to go so it can use its power right away to uh to contract the ghost spell out of your discard pile and the magic shield means an opponent cannot target with spells so 
this has some use. It might be a one-shot, but you might be able to, to get more than one spell out of it. Interesting. Zombie token. Winter. And Dark Aura. I think we already got a Winter card in the first set, didn't we? Been getting a lot of Poiful. Haven't been getting a lot of a lot of the black or the green. I think I see some coming up there. Beast of Blade Moon. Wall Wallow Wallow Lake Crustacean. It's a crab. Arg! SpongeBob me boy! Where's my money? He even has the Mr. Krabs eyes. Look at that. <laughs> This page attacks you with plus 50 damage if you are allergic to seafood. Who, the recipient or the attacker? <laughs> oh, dear. Again, how do you prove that? It's like saying you're a, you're a vegan or a vegetarian. These these might be not might not be the wave of the future. Give X species you control untargetable until the end of next turn. Tuttle bottoms monster. Do not tuttle my bottom. If there is a bug-like figure within eyesight, you... Uh, you recover 25 LP. Not a lot going on there. This page cannot be affected by fright or uh, cannot be affected by terror or fear. Okay, so it's fearless. Feign death. Oh, it's the marshmallow boy again. This page costs XR, where X is the R cost of the destroyed beastie. Place the destroyed beastie into your chapter, so it goes back to your hand instead. Holy eyes. Ah, there's a train. This page may be contracted at any time outside of combat. If this page is contracted on an opposing caster's turn, this page costs one less aura to contract and awaken all non-aura light pages you control. Not bad. Okay, so this is this is a, a rally the troops sort of card. Colopolique. Oh, Boil Bell Witch. Okay, so I have Bell Witch in both forms now. And Boil Over. This might be tempting. I do have Fire in my deck. If you are inflicted with burn this page costs zero uh zero or to contract if you are not inflicted with burn inflict yourself with burn six each time you are dealt damage this turn inflict the same amount of damage to all opposing casters this effect can stack oh wow look at that so this is uh this is something you use with the phoenix fire or uh, a lot of those cards that have the backlash there's lots of cards for fire that have a backlash effect. This essentially allows you to double that damage off of that backlash. I like this. This has potential. Uh, you burn yourself and it costs nothing, so that's pretty cool. Zombie token, another, a new version of the desert card. Or Did we already have a desert card? And a forest aura. This is kind of reminiscent of the early one. The early one was kind of this weird world. This is actually like a plant. That's neat. Another orange one, but I see green ones coming up, so... And like I said, we're able to, we're able to, to speed up now that we have... Uh, now that we've been able to take a look at a bunch of the cards already, we're pretty well in. It's twelve cards now. It used to be uh, used to be just uh, used to be just ten, but they've made it so that you get a guaranteed Terra plus Aura, and now they've added token. So you've got three determined slots already. So the bell buzzard. You may ring the bell. You may ring a bell if you do. A target caster reveals a random page from their chapter. <laughs> When you contract a light page, target page recovers 20 LP. That's not bad. That has some potential to it. Arr, Mr. Krabs. Static Wand. I'm more a fan of Static Shock. Equip this page to target Beastie. Equip Beastie's aura type is also electric, and its attacks gain Paralyze. Tribe Tirade. Choose a Beastie tribe or Beastie name with three or more Beasties in the arena. All Beasties belong to that tribe or name. Lose all traits and effects. <laughs> this is the one you want to use it on. So the, the, the decks are all tribe themed, so I guess you'd, uh, in this case you would name all the, all the uh, how have I forgotten the, the name, the, 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 the dingleberries, these, uh, these, these little electric guys. They, they have a really annoying effect and you want to make that stop. Boost aura again. Super Saiyan! Oh, that's, that's literally the, the, the Goku Super Saiyan pose I didn't notice before. Holy Eyes. Vampire Mercy Brown. This page is detected to twist plus 20 damage if you're wearing va vampire fangs or jewelry. Okay, so you can uh, you could wear like a ring or something and get this effect. Nameless tokens you control get... Oh, infect and infect. Oh, wow, that's that's nasty. That's nasty. Okay, our foil is... Oh, Hex Gate. You may contract all fire beasties from your limbo and they gain haste. Ooh, this is definitely going in my deck. All beasties you control that are destroyed while hex gate in the arena go to the afterlife. So yeah, this is this is going in my deck. I can bring back all those fire salamanders. And abduction, apropos. Place target beastie on a terra page in the arena. Target beastie is not considered in play. Ah, okay. 
If target BC leaves the terror page, either from terror rotation, movement, or destruction, place it anywhere into play, fatigue, then inflict it with confusion. Tentacle token, river, earth aura. Finally, something different. Hex Kitchen. Oh man, if they made an April Fool's deck that, you know, Hex Gate, and you know, Hex Gate was now the name of Hex Kitchen. That's some basic stuff, and oh, here's something new. Halloween Ghost Sheet. I love this. I love, you know, we have that strong color on the new Ghost Aura card, but it, you know, it complements the color on the artwork really nicely. You must say boo whenever the BC this page is equipped to inflict, eh, whenever, the, uh, whenever the BC this page is equipped to inflict fear on a BC. The equipped BC gains fear on its attacks. If the equipped BC's aura type is ghost, its attacks gain plus 10 damage. That is very, very good. Bloodlust. Ooh, I think we've seen this as a preview card before. Equip this page to target dark BC without a page under it. Equip BC doubles any damage it would deal and must attack the closest opposing page to it before attacking. Casters pick if there's a tie between the distance. Um, equipped BC cannot have other pages under it. So this is, this is, it doubles damage, but it can only target, it can basically only target creatures. So this is one where I guess placement comes into, comes into play. Earth's Binding, so there's, there's Monkey Butt again. Fatigue each opposing BC and have them gain a uh, burrow. Lose, I guess lose, lose power attack, lose flight until the end of this turn. And they're dealt 10 damage. Add 10 damage to all damage dealt by Earth Pages. So that's for one turn. Unlucky Potion. Permafrost. I've been getting a lot of ice cards, too. You may fatigue this place at any time to generate one ice and water aura. So it's a new stone. Potion Setter. Shadow Token. Oh, yeah. Here's the Shadow Token. River and Light Aura. Look forward to it. I did a Light Aura. Wendigo. Let's see. I need to try to get an archival one. Oop. This one's, this one's going pretty well. Oh, except right there, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's the best I've gotten so far. I guess it'll have to do. Ah, uh, Mikur. Lofarlang. Frostbite. Ah, yeah, it actually has teeth. Look at that. It really bites you. Ah, target page is dealt 25 damage for each frost counter it has. This damage ignores sturdy. If the target page is destroyed, bookmark one. Hey, not bad. So... Wow, Frost was already pretty dangerous. This is going to be make it even worse. A tea kettler. It's a it's a, it's a dog. It's 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 Amaterasu. I'd almost say Growlithe, some kind of Pokemon. Tribal boost, Beastie Fearsome Critter. So Beastie Fearsome Critters always get plus ten for each other one in the arena. It gets uh, untargetable. Oh, it loses untargetable if an opposing caster is wearing a flannel shirt. Or if there is a lumberjack within eyesight. And again, I guess that can be a facsimile. Jack-o'-lantern bomb! So yeah, jack-o'-lantern, now we have jack-o'-lantern bomb. Deal 75 damage to target page and inflict it with burn. Or if you control a beastie with headless to its name, this card costs one R to contract. Deal 50 damage to target page and inflict it with burn. Oh, that seems interesting. So a headless horseman is in this set? I know there was a headless horseman in the original set. Uh, is this foil? Obsidian Obelisk. Oh no, lots of monkeys. You may fatigue this page at any time. Ah, Dark and Earth. And we got another copy of Permafrost, Nickel Token, Daytime, and Light Aura. I forgot to do a good tear on a green, didn't I? Oof, oh, man. Uh, I know this is out the day afterwards, but I'm opening this the same day I was at New York Comic Con, and I am exhausted. Oof. Air rods for a second. I thought that said AirPods, and I'm like that's hair. That's that's the, aren't those headphones? Maybe maybe that's that's gonna be the that's gonna be the gag. Air rods with AirPods. <laughs> Cosmic warp. That looks like a, that looks like a log. That looks like that ninjutsu technique where you swap your body for a log. Swap a an alien beastie control and own in the arena with another alien beastie in your chapter with less aura cost. Ah, yeah, it literally is that. Higher, excavation, vanish. This page may be contracted at any time. Place target non-aura page on the bottom of its owner's spell book. If that page's owner, if that page owner's type is dark or ghost, may place it into its owner's afterlife instead. You would not want to do that with ghosts because they gain benefits from the afterlife. Crystallized light. Opposing casters cannot attack artifacts you control until the end of next turn. Wow, oh, when you play it, that's nice. 
All light artifacts you, you contract cost one less light artifact you contract to a minimum of zero. This effect does not stack. I like that. I like that. That seems pretty good. Oh, no. Unholy fire. Well, that's... <laughs> oh. Deal 50 damage to target page and 25 damage to yourself. Both targets are inflicted with burn. Or if, you, if either target was already burned, said burn counters to six. Oh, dear. They all use six. Ah. Old book's crying tree. You may fatigue this page at any time. It's another stone. And another permafrost. I've gotten a lot of those. Nameless token, raining, and frost aura. Hey, they added raining. I think I'm the one who suggested raining as a, as a, as a terra. Like for kappas and stuff. Nope, that one wasn't clean. Eh. Uh, Arkansas Snipe. Land Tax. Deal 20 damage to an opposing target page or caster where X is equal to the number of Terra owned by the opposing caster. I assume that's in play. Iceberg. That door could definitely hold two people. Just saying. Inflict target artifact or beastie in the arena with Frost 1. Deal 20 damage to this page. Okay. Ah, the, uh, the Tehihan. Kinda kinda looks like the, the puckwudgies. Looks like a looks like the, the, the like the cool like like a puckwudgie and Yamcha or, or Raditz. It's Raditz! It's Raditz as a gnome. <laughs> I, I I can't even come up with a line because it's just so ridiculous. This page is dealt ten less damage from BCs with an aura cost of one. And we have the Murfreesboro Mud Monster. An opposing caster is a teenager. This page is attack steal plus 20 damage. The Werewolf of Defiance. Ooh, Oklahoma Octopus. This is uh, this is our foil. It's a gold foil. I've been getting a lot of the gold foils. And the old book, The Crime Tree, is also a gold foil, a gold reverse foil. Oklahoma Octopus, one per spell book. Contract, you may place this page in the afterlife to create a tentacle token with 10 damage. Ah, so, oh wait, that's a... Uh, hmm? Okay, so that doesn't seem to create... Oh, to create eight tentacle tokens. Oh, okay, so I guess the idea is that if you have something that can buff all, then that's a useful idea, but this thing has haste and regeneration, so that's actually uh, that's actually probably a better one. This one seems like it has some good potential with the regeneration getting the health back. Potion seta again. Zombie token, desert, lightning aura. Okay. How many packs are in here? I still have looks like twenty two packs in here. So this is this is like this is a larger box. I didn't I didn't notice this is maybe like a thirty six pack box. So wow, we're gonna this is gonna be an even longer episode than normal. I'm gonna have a lot of rares. Gonna get a lot of a lot of value out of this box. This is gonna be nice. Okay, destroy aura, crazy critter, spooky oh smoky spirits. For a second, I thought that said spooky spirits. Well, that 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 applies too. This potion may be contracted whenever an opposing page declares an attack, even if it is not your turn. End combat. If the attacked page is the only BC artifact you control, it cannot be attacked again until the end of next turn. Okay, so that's another, that's, that's sort of a negate attack. Halloween Ghost Cheat. Bubbling Brew. Inflict a BC with burn 3 and deal 5 damage to it, or until the end of your next turn, all BCs are dealt 20 damage when they declare an attack. This damage is not affected by aura type advantage. Yeah, that's neat. So there's a lot of a lot of hot soup. There's a hot soup archetype for, for fire now. Crystallized light, unlucky potion. Oh, there it is, the man himself. So this is the this is, I believe, the main villain of the series. It's a reverse foil Indrid Cold, so it's just him who's foil, the kinda the kind of Giovanni looking guy. Um Contract. Place up to two dark beasties with R costs two or less from your limbo into the arena awakened. And all other dark beasties become uh, become immortal. This page cannot gain immortal. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's, uh, you just need to get a way to give this guy some some good defense there. So, oh, if, if attack target is a dark page, take control of that page until this page leaves the arena. I wonder if there's a way to, to convert type. I think I saw one that converted water to ice. Um... I don't know if there's something that converts light to dark or something like that, but uh, yeah, he can he can summon more darkness monsters and they become immortal. Uh, immortal means that uh, that they cannot be killed by damage. Even if they drop to zero, they do not get destroyed. However, that means they cannot stop breakthrough damage aimed at other aimed at other creatures. So 
They, they only stop as much breakthrough damage as they have life points, so it means that they'll stick around basically forever, but... So, th that, that's that's painful on its own. They'll always be able to counterattack. But, yeah. Ooh, I got him. And a third Grim Reaper. Dynamite token, Mountain, and Flame Aura. A lot of these are uh, auras that are already out. Mountain already had an aura before. Uh, there's already a nighttime aura as well. But, hey, I got, I got, I got, uh, I got Injured Cold. So, cool. I wonder if he's one of the, uh, I wonder if they have an Obnoxious Nine in this set. I mean, an Obnoxious Nine's not necessarily a bad thing. That's kind of what Ultra and Secret Rares are for other games. I can rip these open because I have a full archive now. Okay, Dark Lightning Orb Cake. Garbage Town Tunnel Monster. This page, this page is Fear can only target beasties that have an R cost of one. Okay, so Fear is you flip a coin and on heads it returns the card to its owner's hand. It, it, it's, it, it bounces cards, which, which uh, it's, it's certainly, uh, it's certainly in one game offset the advantage that the, that cryptid, the cryptid nation card gave me. Static wand. Tribal War Cry. So this is another spell. Equip this target to a non-token beastie that does not have a tribal boost. Um, equip beastie gains plus 10, and its attacks deal plus 10 after every other beastie of the same tribe or name in the arena. Okay, equip beastie is considered to have tribal boost. Okay, so I know there's like tribal boost fearsome critter is, is a thing, so this is not allowed to go on one of those. But hey, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's, that's going to be neat. Use that in like a Sasquatch deck or something. Jack-o'-lantern bomb. Werewolf of Defiance. Dispel Evil. You may place a uh, target uh, dark or ghost beastie or artifact into its owner's chapter. The owner of the return page reveals their chapter. So this is a bounce effect. It's basically, uh, it's, it's a weaker silver bullet that goes off right away. Silver bullet can actually destroy one of those. So not bad. It's a, it's, it's a poor man's silver bullet. Oh, Guardian Angel from a, from a dark into a light. And this is another, another gold rare. Man, my luck on these has been really good so far. I wonder how long it'll hold out. You may contract this page whenever you are targeted by an attack, even if it is not your turn. If you do and that end that combat, ignore all damage and effects until the end of this turn. Ignore all damage and effects on you. Oh, wow. So, Angelic Burst, 40 damage. So, this thing, this thing's a battle fader. Okay. Neat. Wood Devil of Ku's Country. Oh, yeah, Ku's Country. So, this is another rare. It's going to cost 5, 75 health. Devilish Scream, you may distribute this attack's damage on any number of beasties, artifacts, or casters. Minimum of 5 damage per target. This is another good candidate for Power Up Red, because uh, then that's 125 damage you're slinging around. You could take, you could wipe out, like, a bunch of tokens and stuff like that. So this is this is a, a, a token, this is a card that counters the use of, of token creatures. This page costs 3 less R contract if a real tree is, is within eyesight. So my little prop tree would not work for this effect. Flipped this card gains... I believe, oh, that's first strike, I believe. First strike for this combat. Hey, not bad. So it's it's another uh, another critter that's a trap. So basically what you can do is you can set this card as a trap and then flip it face up and it becomes the new target of an attack. Of course, you'd have to play this in a place where there's, like, windows so you can see the real tree in order to use its effect. Spiderling token. Okay, we, I remember we've gotten the spiderlings a couple times. Suburban. I think we had that from the original. And lightning aura. I actually had a suggestion for a card for this set. We'll see if it, it went through. Like like a, a Terra card that counts as multiple Terra. Ah, Axel Axe Handle Hound. All right, this is a new one. Although it looks looks kind of like a looks kind of like a goat. Although maybe that's because it has the beard there. Underdog Chop, and it's another beastie, fearsome critter. Cost one. Water to wine. Ah, we got an alchemy card, and I guess that's supposed to be Da Vinci or something. Or maybe that's supposed to be a wizard, but I associate, you know, like, the, the robes that are, like, all splattered with paints as, like, an artist. For the rest of the turn, any effect from your pages that recover LP deal damage instead. Double the amount of LP that potions recover until the end of this turn. So you can, I guess, target target others with those potions now. Eliminate Lake Monster, Jack-O-Lantern, Graveyard Mud. Contract a an Earth Beastie from Limbo with three or less aura costs onto the arena fatigued, and it gains the Zombie Tribe. Send this page to the afterlife. That's not bad. Caster Center MD. Artifact Humanoid. Okay, so I guess the idea is an Artifact Humanoid cannot t uh, cannot fight. Booster Shot. Remove an effect indicator on target Beastie or Caster. And that's a power that it can use each turn, and it comes into play with Haste. Hey! It's a Haste character that can cure any status ailment right away. So, hey, this card's going to see some use. I can I can guarantee it if, if, if things like burn and stuff become a big issue. Nova Demon. Potion Seller. 
You are now like, you cannot handle my potions, warrior. They are much too powerful. And the red ghost. So this is our, our rare for the pack. Another one where I got a gold rare. You may contract this page from your afterlife if you destroy three ghost pages you own in the arena. So that's that's the thing is is ghosts have a lot of abilities that bring things back from the astro afterlife. Send this page and target beast D to their afterlife. Okay, so you can you can uh, place target ghost beast D. Okay, so yeah, this is this is a really good one. Wow, um, because you can summon it from your afterlife. I mean, you have to do special procedures to send it to the afterlife, but ghosts tend to do that really well. Combine this with spirit train. This has some interesting potential. Nameless token, island, and light aura. Let's see what we got. The other one is like, I think Wendigo and Jack Frost are the ones that people want. We'll see if I get any. X da, 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 da. All stuff we've seen before. Copy cup. Target one potion in another caster cemetery. The effect of this page is the same as the chosen potion page. Ah, this is, uh, it's cost zero, so it seems like a card that you could side into any deck. I don't know if side decks are a thing in, in MetaZoo yet. Dispel evil. Ah, don't tunnel my bottom. Prism beam. Stained glass token. Farm, which was also in the original one, and flame aura. Kind of nice that they're including the Terra that were from the first set. Uh, like I said, they are also working on a limited version of the first set. Um, so we're going to get more of that, but the fact that we can, uh, the fact that we're going to be able to, to get all of the Terra from the first set for the second set that uses that Terra means that even if you missed out on that first set, it's not going to be as big a deal. Absorb Aura. Destroy target artifact that has an Aura cost of zero. Bookmark the, a page and generate one Aura with the same Aura type as the destroyed artifact. Oh, destroyed artifact, artifact that has an Aura cost of zero. Okay. Garbage Town Tunnel Monster, Static Wand. This is a new one. The Bandage Man of Cannon Beach. It's, was, that the, was that the title of a, of a, of a movie they did on uh, MST3K? It kind of sounds like it. You're wearing a bandage. This page costs one aura to contract and you recover 25 LP. This page cannot declare attacks. This page gains first strike during the combat. It was flipped face up. So it's, a, it's another trap one. Trap and infection. Cool. Um, Bursting Spiderlings, Exquisite Stew, Dover Demon. Oh, we got a Foil Prism Beam, so now we really do have one that looks like Death Beam. Neat. Alaskan Vortex, we've seen. Tentacle Token, Swamp, and Lyar. Oh, it says Swamp, but because of all the all the dark imagery they use up at the top there, it's kind of hard to make out. That may, that may be a, another case where you need a bit of a thicker stroke there. Do -do. See, I told you that it would speed up. I told you it would speed up, and now it's going a whole lot faster. Now that we've seen basically all of the common and uncommon cards in the set. So you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. We're going to go, oh, Nightshade. That's new. That's uh, probably in here because it's used to cure werewolfism, but do not eat Nightshade. It is actually incredibly poisonous and apparently easy to mistake for cabbage, so be careful. This page can only be contracted at the end of an opposing caster's turn before status effect indicators resolved. Deal 30 damage to target page or caster, plus an additional 30 damage for each that's a poison in, yeah, each poison indicator the target has. Yeah, so they made it highly poisonous. Look at that. And oh, it's Mr. Krabs, but foil. And our rare is gonna be Momo. That's not Momo. That's that's the oh I guess it maybe looks a bit like a little bit like a monkey. Another Sasquatch. Stinky Punch. This page costs one light aura to contract if an orange pumpkin is within eyesight. And you can use a facsimile for that. Okay. Poltergeist. Ah, and they uh, made it electric. That's the first new common we've seen, so that's why we're picking up here. Beast you control. Gain first strike during your turn if you are playing near a location known to be haunted. Although, how do you, uh, how do you, how do you figure that out? Shocking Possession. If an attack, da if this attack damaged an artifact that was not destroyed, you may awaken that artifact and use it. Oh, wow. So... This can, uh, this can, it only does 10 damage, but it lets you use your opponent's Chaos Crystal. Ooh, that's dangerous. That has some potential here, at least as a side. Bandit Beach, Rain in the Jar, Exquisite Stew. Is this our rear next? It is, nope. Creely Polak. Ah, this is new. Adam Ackler. Hmm, haven't seen that one. This, oh, this is a, this is a character from the, from the actual, like, games. Kind of, kind of hard to see with the, with the foil going on, but yeah, there he is. He's got like a cape or something. I think he's the one we were using in like redirection. He's he's been used in the art of a few cards. 
Sublimation, 50. If this page is dark, oh, you can choose light or dark. This page is RF type. Lose night if you choose uh, light. Lose dark if you choose uh, if you choose dark. Lose sunlight. So we can get rid of the... He can be light or dark. He gains more damage as dark, uh, more health as light. Uh, the more damage is probably more useful. He has haste. Not bad for uh, for a four cost. Four cost, five da uh, 50 damage. He gets... Uh, um, so he basically does an extra 45 damage if you make him dark. So he's a, he's a 70, 95 with haste for cost four. This guy's really good. Really good. River of Time, we already saw that. It's limit one. <clears throat> it's a time walk that's limit one. And it goes to the afterlife, so it's a lot harder to get it back. So you get one time, la time walk in your whole deck. I'm sure that will, I'm sure this time walk will make differences, though. I, I think it, it's something interesting that MetaZoo's been doing, and that's been trying to develop, like, nerfed versions of the Power Nine. Um, <clears throat> and, and this is their walk of time. I believe the idea is the fact that you can only use one and it removes itself from the game is supposed to be the balancer. Absorb Aura. Da -da -da, I think we've seen all of these. Older guys, Ghost, mon Mud Monster. <laughs> hey, Sam! Which is Lightning and... Oh! Boil over. That's a new one. It's it's more of the it's more of the more of the cauldron archetype for fire. If you are inflicted with burn, oh, I think we've already seen this one. Yeah. Okay. And righteous reckoning. So this is another one. Another one on. It's like a more powerful backlash. Destroy all fatigued beasties. Each caster recovers twenty five LP for each of their non token beasties restored. Uh, beasties destroyed and ten LP for each of their token beasties destroyed. End your turn after resolving this page's effects. Hmm. So this is, I believe, supposed to be like the Wrath of God, although it's, it's I don't know, maybe more like, like, uh, like, like, uh, oh, how did I forget? How did I forget the name of that? Not like Acroma or something, whatever her name was. So that's kind of neat. Da, 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 da. Raining and Frost Aura. Okay. We still have a lot left. This is a much larger box. I, like, I've had to restart the camera like five or six times because it keeps, you know, keeps cutting out on me. A new camera is definitely the thing I am, I'm aiming for. Dispel evil. Oh, there he is! I got the boy! I got the boy! Jack Frost. If uh, if Snowfall is active, this page costs two less aura to contract, and it is considered snowing while this page is in the arena. Contract. Destroy all Terra pages in the arena except for winter and snowing. Nipping at your nose. Freeze 15! Wow! Freeze 15. That's serious. Okay. <laughs> That's the boy. Another Grim Reaper! For crying out loud, I've got like four of him. I think I'm just missing Wendigo now for like the, like the big, the big hits. Another one. Another foil boy. Oh, the Headless Horseman. Okay. There we go. That's another one I needed. This page cannot be declared as a defender. This page gains the names and effect text boxes of all face-up beasties under it. Decapitating Revenge. If an attack destroyed a beastie, place that beastie face-up under this page. Oh, wow. Okay, that's neat. Unless you, uh, unless you want to, unless it absorbs a penalty of some kind. Shadow Touch City, Cosmic Aura. All right, so there's like two stacks left in this box of 11 each. We're almost there, so we're, we're down to our final 13. Ooh. Let's see what Unlucky 13 will give us. Oh, Ludwig, that's a new one. I don't think I've seen this one. This page is a text deal plus 10 damage if a caster has been drinking a red beverage this game. <clears throat> Cost one, he's a, he's a, oh, bloodsucker, okay. Oh, he has the, the, the drain ability. This attack deals tw plus 25 damage if the beastie is damaged. So the idea is that bloodsuckers regain health equal to the amount of damage they deal. That's why Chupacabra was rare in the first set. Ah! Spectre Moose! I guess this is supposed to be the companion of Ghost Deer. This page can be contracted with, uh, with, oh, with Water Aura if Forest is active. Okay, gotcha. Or with, with Wood Aura if Forest is active. Awaken this page and immediately declare an attack with it. If, uh, if a Ghost or a Wood Beastie was destroyed this turn. Okay. Zombie Apocalypse. Oh no, it's all the characters turned into zombies. Replace all beasties in the arena with fatigued zombie tokens. All are all be replaced beasties are placed into limbo. <laughs> wow. Okay, and we have full foil potion seller. I have all three versions of potion seller now, and another 
Alaskan Vortex. No Wendigo yet. I got I got Ingrid Frost. I got uh, I got Ingrid Cole. I got Jack Frost. It's easy to confuse. They both have 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 icy themed names. Destroy Aura, Wunk. Oh yeah, we've seen Wunk. Oh, Permafrost. Okay, that's the the stone again and Prism Beam. I've gotten a lot of these. Zombie Token, Suburban, Earth Aura. Yeah, I think this was a 36, a 36 card pack, so the boxes have gone up in size as well. I've been getting a lot, I've been getting this guy on the top of a lot of packs, I don't know why. Caster Center MD, Poltergeist Foil, and another Potion Seller. So many Potion Sellers. And I guess a potion deck is a possible meta. Okay. Destroy Aura. Do -do 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 -do. Torrential River. I don't think I've seen this one. You may deal 30 damage to target beastie if River is active. This page costs zero if you've already contracted a Torrential River this turn. If not, each time you contract a water page this turn or bookmark one and deal 30 Bookmark one and deal 30 damage to target page or caster damage. The damage on this page ignores invincible. Oh, okay. So you can then uh, you can contract water pages, which allows you to which allows you to draw a card. So this is this is a card to, to surge a turn forward, even though it is expensive. Dover Demon and Headless Coal Miner. Ah, oh. <clears throat> this page is attacks a plus 25 damage if there is coal within eyesight. And remember, it can be a facsimile. Lightning Alley. Stained Glass Token, Swamp, and Spirit Aura. Oh, it's a mirror. Ah, oh, no, there's another another Diabolic Visions card. All right, we're down to our final... Our final ten packs. Okay. This is a big box. I know this has been a marathon, you guys. Maybe I should split this one into pieces. Oh, that one was perfect. Aura Prowess. Uh, it's doing the Texas Star! You may only contract this page if you control at least two basic aura pages of different aura types. Search your spellbook for a basic aura page, reveal it, and place it into your chapter. Shuffle your spellbook. Okay, this will go good in my deck. Mine's a mixed type deck. Water Baby of Massacre Rock. Oh, wow. Uh, two new cards in a row. <clears throat> this page's attacks deal plus 20 damage if any caster is a mother. One bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Water Baby of Nasic Rock, of, of Massacre Rock. I mean, we can dig it. All right. Iceberg. Halloween Ghost Spirit. Da, 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 da. Dispel Evil. Another Poltergeist. And Stalactites. This page can be a defender. Deal 20 damage when attacking opposing beastie when damaged. You may shuffle an Earth spell from your cemetery into your spell book. Okay. Dynamite Token, Ground, and Frost Aura. All right, moving on. I mean, we've gotten we've gotten a couple of a couple of the cards that I'm seeing people throw around. And Frost fifteen off of Jack Frost. I guess the whole idea is he becomes a target to get rid of. Light elemental. Da -da -da. And ah, Twin Meteor. Ah, I've I've seen this one as a preview card. You may fatigue this page at any time to generate one alien and one fire aura. All right, I wonder if there's a a, a light and fire. I mean, a a a, a, a forest fire deck. Oh dear, it's probably Smokey the Bear waggling his finger disapprovingly. This one's topped a lot of packs too. Let's see. Mermaid Shimmer. Equip this page to target Water or Ice Beastie. When the equipped beastie is targeted by an attack or declared as a defender, you may place this into your cemetery. If you do, ignore the effects of that attack and reduce combat damage to zero. Ah! So this is one that, uh, this is one that, uh, stops an opponent's attack. Basically makes them invincible for one attack. That's cool. Bubbling Stew, Earth Binding, Dispel Evil, and Potion Seller again. And, oh, I got another Adam Ackler, though, and he's good. He's good. He can, he, he can go into any deck. He, he goes better into a, into a Darkness deck, but hey. Blessed, praise the sun. The next time you... Uh, the next time... You would flip a coin or roll a die. You may choose the result. Opposing casters cannot further modify the result. Target page cannot be damaged or targeted by dark or ghost until the end of the next turn. Not bad. Da -da 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 Aha! 
I got the jack-o'-lantern and the jack-o'-lantern bomb in the same pack. Stu, Dover Demon. Oh, hey, it's them. The Dark Watchers. I think this is another card that's pretty popular. This page cannot attack fatigue beasties. Spatial cur curators. Reveal the top three pages of your spellbook. If a tarot or aura page was revealed, place it into your chapter. Place the remaining pages on top of your spellbook in any order. Hey, that's pretty good. Potion seller again. <laughs> How many potion sellers have I gotten? More than they made potion seller videos, I can tell you that much. So I don't think I think we've gotten all the commons. I'm pretty sure we've gotten all the uncommons. And we got Wunk and Righteous Righteous Reckoning. Alright. Started to run out of steam a bit. I guess that's because we've gotten gotten all the cards. <clears throat> we have uh, five packs left. Five more chances to get Wed to go. Nightmare, Pyre, da 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 da. I wonder if this counts as uh, as a nightmare card. All right, these are these are pretty familiar so far. Sag like one, nothing special. Destroy Terra. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got the regular foil version of this guy. There we go. Now you can get a get a better look at his appearance. And the Grafton monster. Any of you guys who have played Fallout will recognize this this thing. Um, so it has it has magic shield. It has defender. It has armor. It has magic shield. It has a lot of health at 150, especially with the the damage reduction. This page costs zero or at a contract if it's Mother's Day. Wow. This page cannot be affected by non... I thought this was supposed to be a Halloween theme set. This page cannot be affected by non-beastie pages while on or off the arena. So it has... Yeah, it has, it has magic shield and effect, period. So this page must be the target of all legal attacks and cannot have status effect indicators. Oh, wow. So this guy is... This guy is serious defensive business. Shadow token, farm, and water aura. Three more. Wendigo is all I'm really missing. Du, 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 du. I'm pretty sure I have all the uncommons by now, too. Oh, Dampen, that's a new one. This page can be played at any time. Target spell does not resolve its effects and traits. Ah, it's Counterspell. Okay, and... Frank Shaw's Gargoyle. That's a new one. <clears throat> Skyscraper Strike. If, NASA, if a NASA symbol is within eyesight, and there's, like, t-shirts and stuff, alien pages cost one less alien aura to contract. It would cost six to bring this guy into play, but I guess he's meant for a... A multi-type deck. This page cannot have status effect indicators. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Non-foil guardian angel. Dynamite token. Da, 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 da. Two more. I've, I've, been getting, I've been getting stuff pretty consistently. And because of just how often I get a foil rare, I've been getting a lot more rares than, than there have been packs. I've easily gotten like at least 50 rares out of this box. Blessed, Garbage Town, da, 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 da. we've already seen these, Index, Holy Tree, Galapaluk, ah, another Octopus, and a Prism Beam. Octopus might be one of the Obnoxious Nine, I haven't seen it as a non-foil yet. And here we go, Absorb Aura, da, 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 da. I guess this means they've technically added a new tier of rarity because now there's regular rare. In addition to the foil rare, ah, another potion seller. What a, what a, what a wet fart to end on. But yeah, that was that was like thirty six packs. That was a, that was a lot of stuff there. I mean, we got that and that, and this guy seems like he's good. Of course, we also got this. We got injured cold. Spirit. Where's the other the other good one? I got I got the boy. I got headless horseman and the boy. I got two of these. I got some good stuff. So let's take out all of the... So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 there. And another 1, 2, 3, 4, 41, 42. This might be a bet. I'll give you guys a break. 65. At the end of the day, a 36-pack box gave me 65 gold cards. Wow. Okay, that's... That's value right there. I don't know if it's because I got a good box where there were only uh, there were only a few non uh, only a few non gold foils, but yeah, wowzers. That's uh, that's value right there. Sixty five rares in a box, and of course we got some parallel foil commons over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only found uh, I only found seven. I think there were. I think for us to have. Uh, 
let's see, uh, thirty six at seventy two potential wear slots. So five, six, eight, six, seven, six, eight, six, nine, seven, seven, one, seven, two. Okay, so I found them all. So I only got, I only got uh, seven of the only only seven of my hollow foils were. Uh, were non-rare cards, so it means I'm gonna have to do a little hunting to get the foil versions of these if I want. But for there to be, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this is a lucky box or just a trend. Because I remember last uh, last time, the reason they were able to get away with not putting a rare in every pack is because there was only a one third chance that you wouldn't get a rare in those packs. And now there's a zero percent chance that you won't get a rare in the pack. I assume that there are plenty that are still foil only. I did not see a non-foil. Octopus or Jack Frost or Ingrid Cold, so it might be safe to bet that they are foil only. Although Ingrid Cold came with a reverse, that means he might might uh, might come in non foil as well. So uh, yeah, that is a look at MetaZoo Nightfall. Like I said, tremendous value from these boxes. If we get if we get more of this in the future, it was almost two rares per pack. So if we can get you know a good value like this in the future, then you know this is this is. This is a, a neat way to do it. This is a good way to do it, to uh, to have so many rare cards, to have like an appropriately themed set for October, especially for a for a, a spooky monster theme. The, the only thing I really hope that uh, that we can get is maybe some kind of innovation. I mean, Potion is a new card type, I think. Or no, Potion's not a new, no, new card type, but I've seen some expansion on it. But yeah, um, more innovation in the future is definitely what we're going to need here. Strong against needs to include the actual damage number that it boosts, even if it's plus 20 all of the time. Um, if you actually put the number on there, that gives you a chance to maybe play around with it. Maybe there's like a creature made entirely of water that does a ton of extra damage against fire creatures, although most of them have uh, have an indicator where they do where they do elevated damage against certain uh, certain attacks. So I guess I guess that's already a thing. So yeah, um, that's a look at, at Nightfall. Like I said, they've got new printers, so the cards feel a whole lot nicer. The the cutting is a lot more crisp. I think this is, is this actually Cardamundi? I think this might actually be Cardamundi. Oh yeah, there we go. 36, 36 cards per pack. So yeah, I, th I think they actually went out and got Cardamundi to do this set. And like I said, the cards are much, much nicer quality. We got, uh, we got the same foiling effect as before. Although, let me see, I thought there were like rumors that there were like little, oh yeah, there's like little, little skulls in there in some cases. It's hard to tell. Let's see if I can get a good, better shot of that. Yeah, if you look, you can see like extra little features on there, like down below this tentacle here, there's like a little spider web foiling effect there. And up here, there's a little ghost on a star right up here next to this tentacle. There's a little ghosty there. Let me see if I can find a skull. So we got, yeah, we got like some custom, some custom spooky foiling on here. That's neat. Okay, this one I can see some skulls on. Yeah, there's one right here. I get that. Yeah, there it is. So there's like a little skull there. So... Yeah, there's custom foiling on here. That's neat. And so, yeah, here is a look at Nightfall, courtesy of the uh, people behind the game. They uh, they handed me off this box at uh, at uh, New York Comic Con, and this looks like a lot of fun. It looks like uh, it, I do say I would maybe worry a bit about the effects that are easy to lie about, like having a nightmare or being a vegetarian. Um, so I do like the idea that they even included the word real to indicate when it has to be something in real life or when it can merely be a prop. So I assume the use of the word real means it has to be like a gen the genuine article and I can't bring in a toy boat for that one that calls for a real boat, but I can bring in my little toy tree for any that's, that asks if a tree is nearby. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a, a nice preview of Nightfall. It should be out for general sale pretty soon. That's part of the thing with uh, New York Comic Con was that it was an early chance to acquire the set. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get some more content in the future. Like I said, I know the guy who made the game, and, uh, we'll see if he sends me some more stuff to look at, but until next time, this is Kodak signing off. It's back! The Kodak box of junk is available once again. Details in the description below. It's back! It's the return of the Kodak box of junk. Supplies are limited, but you supplies are limited. Supplies are limited. Detail. Supplies are limited. Details on how to get one for yourself in the description below.